Hello everyone, welcome to Detroit Belle Isle for a Porsche 911 Cup race. I'm not qualifying, qualifying's ongoing right now, I'm not qualifying. I tried a couple of days ago and I qualified up towards the front and we crashed before the start finish line. So I'm not doing it. We'll start at the back, let the dust settle and see where we can finish up. Uh, strength of field for this one, 2.9k, so it's not going to be easy. Um, objectives for this one, if we can get into positive I rating, happy days. Um, if you do like this video, if you wouldn't mind just scrolling down a little bit just before the race starts and clicking that thumb, that like button, that would be appreciated. And if you want to see more, then please consider clicking on the subscribe button. Anyway, enough waffling on. Let's get out there on track. So there we go. That's qualifying done. We are starting dead last. If we finish where we are, we're going to lose a ton of I rating. So I don't mind starting right at the back. I don't like that guy blinking though. So I'm just going to hold back for the first half a lap or so and then see if we can then push on because no doubt people in front will make mistakes. There will be crashes. So we're starting P23 so the objective is positive eye raising. So will we get it? I don't know. It's going to be tough. It's not going to be easy. So we'll just wait. For Jim to let us know when we're going to start. 19 laps. Right now. The air temp is 25 Celsius. Okay, Dave, get ready. Green, green, green. Right, so let's just settle down. Get some heat into the tyres. Let all these maniacs. Do what they want to do. Oh, there's one gone. There's, there's two gone. Turn three. Try and squeeze up here for Carl. Hopefully the air goal play ball. Right side's clear. I don't really want to be this close to people. You know, we are supposed to be <laughs> keeping apart from each other. We don't want to be getting too close. We might catch you know what. Right. Things should start to settle down now, hopefully. Oh my word. Don't kill me, Marco. It's a little bit better, a bit of clear track now as well. Oh. Tires are still super cold. So we're going to lose 42 as it stands. Really is a tough combination this one. The gap is Just bumps everywhere. So we'll be lucky to catch up with these guys if they don't make mistakes. Oh, we can see something happening. Smoke, never a good sign. Turn catches quite a few people out. Lost 
Where are you going there, Dave? Got a race though. We've got a race. Can't really go anywhere here though. Blimey, Lars! Sorry, Lars, you kind of break right in front of me that I know where to go. Car left, clear left. Blimey! We got away with that one, though. Right, two and a half seconds to Marvin. So that's up to P15. P15. Tires are warming up now. with Fabio. <laughs> Where's that dude going? He's having issues. The flesh wound. Clear left, left side, clear left. That was easy. Here's Fabio. Nice front. by these guys isn't going to be easy though. But if we can, that might take us into positive eye racing. You never know. Marvin, your time is up. Can we? Can we? Do you reckon? Can we? No, we can't. Is the answer? 
Didn't really want to risk that. Get off there to 1x. No, it wasn't. Don't know how. Is it the wall? <laughs> Thomas is sniffing. Is the guy that had issues earlier on. The leader was just done at 13.2. Uh oh, is he going for that? No. So we've got to lose 16 as it stands. Don't know where that guy went. Thomas has got through as well. P11. That takes into positive or not? It may well do. It does. P10. It's 
Tell you what though, Marvin's not hanging about. He's got a bit of pace. I like it. Caught up with Miron. It says Jim. Oh, that's wide. Okay, though. P9. Guy struggling a bit in front. On your right, clear right. Oh, it's, he's obviously got a little bit of damage, I think. Thomas is the one here, I think. He's the one that's going to push towards the end. I'm pretty sure of it. He's, as if by magic, he's just gone through. I don't know if that was a legit overtake or what. Got a fuel, fuel's no, no concern. That's why I go. We've got a fourth there. Come on, Thomas, give us a break. Give us a break. ahead. He's still going though. Oh, 
bumps. Closing in. Depends how much of a lunge he wants to uh, he wants to make. I suppose depends how many mistakes I'm going to make as well. P6 golf. He's good on the brakes, I'll give him that. He's much better than me on the brakes. Oh, oh. That was lucky. <laughs> That was lucky. Just happened on the transition from left to right turn with a bit too much brake pressure. Locked up a little bit. You're gaining on this guy. The gap's now 1.3. That lap was at 134.0. Could have been so much worse. Could have been so much worse. Just breaking a bit too late. Might be able to close it up though on the straight with a little bit of draft. So a P8. At the moment, don't do it again, Dave. Whatever you do, Just apply a little bit of pressure, it might crack, you never know.
Uh oh, oh no. Little bit of pressure. Little bit of pressure. It's not easy to wear uh, to drive when there's somebody right on your till. Not easy at all. So P7 that'll be. Let's see what I rating we're going to get for that. So if we finish P7, we're going to get 36. <laughs> I'll take that. Oh, maybe a bit too late. It's been quite clean, really, for the Porsche Cup race. They're not normally this clean. I desperately need a zero X race as well. My license has uh, gone down a little bit. This corner catches lots of people out there. It's so easy to just go in there a little bit too hot. Two laps left. God, it's hard on the arms, this one as well. Jeez. Thomas has dropped back a little bit more now. So the setup I'm using for this one is from the Pure Driving School. The only thing I've done is gone down on the brake bias by a couple of clicks down to 46 and I've just adjusted it a couple of clicks during the race, so it's now at 45.5. Just as the car gets a little bit lighter in with the Porsche Cup car, as the car gets a little bit lighter, the fuel tank's at the rear, so you need to kind of balance that out with the brake bias, really. So as the race goes on, just a couple of clicks down on the brake bias, just keep things where they need to be. One more lap to go. Tough race this one, tough race. Apart from that little mistake on that complex, the uh, the double left and the right, it's not been too bad. The cars felt quite good. Touch wood. There was a little bit of a runoff area there, though. Because if there wasn't, I would have been screwed. Incident. 
There we go. I'll take that. P7. I will take that all day long. Up 16 positions. A gain of 36 I rating. And then a 0x. So doesn't get really get much better than that, does it? And a pretty decent scrappy race as well. Whew. Right, let's have a look at the incident, shall we? I don't think there's that many. Okay, let's have a look at the carnage. I don't think it was a great deal on lap one. I don't think. Apart from this turn down here. Holy cow. What happened with that guy? Can you see him? Obviously just lost it. Thunder <laughs> breaking. There's going to be a few wall scrapes, I'm sure. Yeah, that, that's the turn, that one. Tricky turn, that one. Love that turn. I love that turn. Turn two. It's all doing the same. Apart from that, that's not the same. That was the guy that crashed at the beginning as well. I'm sure it was a John Play special car. That's the trick here at Belle Isle, is making the circuits as wide as you possibly can, even if you're scraping the mirrors on the wall. It's really difficult to do, though. Ooh, yeah, I know where to go there. I got lucky, I got lucky. We don't want to see wall scraping, we want to see carnage. That's a nice colour paint, that one. That's like a construction vehicle. What did I do? Oh. I did hit the wall, yeah. I did hit the wall. These are just walls. Oh, that's when... Oh no, that was what he did first time round. That's why we, uh, we got by him. We don't just want to see walls, we want to see carnage. This is far too civilised. Ooh, that was a hit. Oh, 
Oh dear. Oh my word. Oh crikey. If you just miss your turning point, there it's a nightmare. Dear, jeez, unbelievable. You just don't break at the right point and get the, the front loaded, it's, it's gone. Once it starts to understeer, then there's not a great deal you can do until the whole car slows. seen enough curbs now. Oh, oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. What's it gonna do? What's it gonna do? Ah, it's waiting. Good man. Perfect. This is the guy that was behind me, isn't it? Yeah, just hit the wall. Just walls, bumps, curbs, walls. We don't want to see those. through these. I think it's all pretty much done now, apart from that one. <laughs> this car looks bent as well. Where's he going? He's gone. <laughs> he committed to his side. On. It should be nearly finished now. There's too many curbs. Oh, that's when I was able to sneak through. So that's towards the end anyway. I think all of these now are just the usual scrapes and bumps.
Skip through these unless we see anything that's interesting. There we go, that's the finish. And there we go, thank the Lord. I love the sound of that Porsche, but not for that long. Anyway, let's jump straight into the results. Right, so how many splits were there? There were two splits. This was top split strength of field, 2,910. So we were car number nine, started P23, finished P7. Uh, a fastest lap, 131.3. So it's not the fastest lap, but it got us to where we needed to be. Um, we got 128 championship points, zero incidents, which is important. And plus 36 I rating and plus 28 safety rating. So happy days. As far as Porsche races goes, that wasn't too bad. So who was the biggest winner? So it looks like Tyson there. He gained 83. Tyson Williams, yep. Yeah. He gained 83. And the biggest loser, it looks like it is David Flamont. He lost 96. So there we go. That's Porsche Cup at Belle Isle done. Uh, again, if you did like it, if you wouldn't mind giving it a thumbs up, that'd be appreciated. And if you want to see more, there'll be an icon above my head now that you can click if you want to subscribe. Uh, straight over there will be my latest video. And up there in the top corner will be a video that YouTube thinks that you might like to watch. As always, have a good week. Thanks for watching. See you later. Cheers.